Welcome back to Panasonic Live at IBC. It's now nearly 20 years since the first series of Big Brother aired here in the Netherlands, triggering a deluge of reality shows globally. Uh, what you might not know is most of those shows actually use Panasonic's remote cameras uh, in their production. Uh, to tell us a little bit more about our latest one, which was announced this morning at our press briefing, the AWHE230, as Dean offered. Dean, tell us a little bit more about our new cam. Yeah, so this is our brand new um, AWHE230 to uh, complement our HE series. Uh, we're lucky enough to get it at the show today, um, as it's totally exclusive to IBC. Um, it's a rugged all-in-one PTZ uh, with great HD resolution that you can expect out of the HE130, even including a wiper, um, which can go from minus conditions to extreme heat. So when it comes to outdoor shoots, this would be a real go-to. Cool, and it's IP65, so as you say, it's, it's, it's really hitting on that, that trend at the moment, which seems to be outdoor survival shows, I guess. Yes, exactly that. Exactly. Okay, cool. And you were showing me off air a little bit about our, our, our autofocus technology, so could you, could you do us a little demo for that, please? Yeah, so uh, we've got the uh, AWHE10, which is a bolt-on uh, wide-angle attachment camera, uh, onto either our UE70 HE40 or HE130 series. And basically what we can do is, on a network, attach a Wi-Fi hub easily, um, and then connect an iPad to it through a free app and it allows us to actually control the camera wirelessly. Um, as well as that, we can also do our zooms on it as well uh, and we can also recall or set presets as well. So you don't necessarily have to be a camera professional to use remote cameras anymore. Wow, it's amazing. Uh, and we've upgraded our, our, our auto tracking software as well, which is going to make a big difference for events. Yeah, literally uh, just launched last week. We now have facial recognition. So that means that uh, if you've got a user moving, it can store a face on the camera or you can upload a JPEG. Um, that, as well as that, if you've got two people, it'll be able to identify which person is speaking uh, and moving. Um, and if someone walks in front of it, uh, that person, it won't necessarily track them. It'll stay on that person. So it's a software-based... Uh, feature and you don't need to wear an ID tag or anything to do it. So. Okay, so that means basically conferences and events can run themselves pretty much. Exactly that. Wow. So what else have we got on stand that, that's of interest for, for people coming down this week? We're focusing in um, studio. We're doing productions with all our remote cameras now. We've got live streaming, which we're doing a ton of work with, including new tech and uh, NDI technology. Um, and we're also focusing on education and conferencing where we can show a lot more of these um, items in detail. Okay, Dean, thank you very much. Fascinating insight thank into our much. world of remote cameras here at IBC. Don't forget, if you're coming down, we're in uh, Hall 11 and the stand number is C45. <laughs>